Welcome back, comrades, and I'm glad to have you guys back. And uh, it's Sunday, and my hair is a little off. <laughs> Anyways, glad to have you guys back, and we are going to do a, I guess, a Sunday fun day video in the man cave, or you call it my lair. But uh, before we get started with the cold steel video, I want to show you something here. You see, it might be a little dark, but this right here... This here is my summer loadout bug out bag or escape and evade uh, backpack along with the CFP 90 patrol pack. This is going to be a video coming soon. I modified this pack here, which I'm sorry, this is the, uh, they call it the, or I call it the Alice pack on steroids. It's a modified Alice pack with a uh, mole two, uh, mole two or Molly two, however you want to pronounce it, system on the Alice Pack frame. But I modified the CFP ninety patrol pack to fit on this, and we are going to do a all day escape and evade training mission. <laughs> so that will be in a week or so. Um, I was going to do it today, but it's just I don't know, just some things just don't work out right. So. Today we're going to do a cold steel video. So with that said, let me bring you guys down here to the show and tell table. All right, welcome back. And the first item we're going to show, let's just get right to it, is the cold steel, ooh, cold steel bad axe. This is just some extra paracord, it doesn't come with it. But check that out, is that pretty cool or what? Now I know this really isn't like a uh, a survival axe, because <laughs> by no means do I use this for survival. Maybe the zombie apocalypse game, but I highly doubt that's well, actually that's never going to happen. But this thing is pretty cool. Now in the title you notice it said vintage. Well, actually, I don't know what my title is going to be yet. But it's probably going to be vintage because this here is a discontinued item from cold steel and it's been discontinued for quite a while and this is from the 90s they made them up to the mid thousands i think but you always go to cold steel's website and look at their catalogs but uh yeah this is the bad axe now this is more of like a throwing axe but of course you can do other stuff with it you can slice with it dice with it all that cool fun stuff why because it's cold steel but let's give us some close-ups here of it you know, I was just thinking, I haven't done a video, a knife video in a while, or just a, a tool video, but I haven't done one with my new camera, so it's kind of cool to see what this looks like on the GoPro 9. But we'll go over the specs here, tell you what kind of handle it is, the, uh, the metal material and everything. But yeah, it, it is really cool looking. I really like it. And it's just a collector's item. This is nothing I'm going to use, guys. This will go in my safe, and that's where it'll be. But it's for throwing and stuff like that. It's basically a throwing axe. But I will be honest, it is, if you can see there on camera, but it's actually a little thicker than I remember it being. This was actually my father's. And he's had it, and he passed it down to me. And now I have it. But uh, yeah, it won't be going anywhere. It's a collector's item. I can't even find one of these on eBay. So we'll set that down here. And I'll quit playing around with it. We'll look at it again here in a minute. But let's go over the specs of it. And I got some information brought up here. All right, we're just going to go ahead and read off the Cold Steel catalog. I think this is one's from 96 or 97. But here we go. The bad axe. The chopping power and throwing accuracy of the Special Forces shovel were really impressive. So we decided to use the same construction method to make a real battle axe. And the result is awesome. Like the Special Forces shovel... The bad axe is made of medium carbon steel over two millimeters thick and fully heat treated for strength. The edges of the bad axe have been fully factory honed to a sharp utility edge that can easily be improved to razor sharpness without much effort. The handle is a premium hardwood finish and clear lacquer. You'll find the bad axe is light enough to swing with one hand and there's plenty of space on the handle to allow a double-handed grip for full power strokes. The twin edge design offers double the cutting potential. When one edge begins to dull, the other is still razor sharp. 
plus the axe cuts in either direction. It has a necessary weight for serious chopping, and it's a dream to throw. With all its points and cutting surface, surfaces, it sticks in virtually any position. You'll look like an expert pra practically from your first throw. The axe throw sticks and chops like nothing you have ever seen before, and here's proof. These photos show Lynn Thompson hurrying, hurling the bad axe. This was literally his third throw. Yeah, I probably won't be able to show you that on my phone. It's pretty small. It's a pretty small picture. Maybe. Here, may I can get it on here for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but there's Mr. Lynn Thompson right there and there. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to read. <laughs> or see, it's pretty blurry. But the specifications, let's look at the specifications real quick. Uh, let's see here. The weight is 26 ounces. The length is 20 inches overall. Steel is a medium carbon. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of carbon. I guess just medium carbon, I guess. And the handle is hardwood. And I'm assuming the handle is it's the same type of material that they use on the Special Forces uh, shovel. But I'm assuming that this handle here is the same as Special Forces shovel. Which I believe is the hickory. Hickory wood. But... You see the grains on it there. Well, that's pretty much all the information that I can find on this. That's on the Cold Steel's website. But it's got like the same screws as the Cold Steel Special Forces shovel has. Like where they line up at. It's got these grooves. I wonder if that's for balancing. I wonder if those grooves are made for the, the balance of it. Cause it's, but you can you can slash with it and everything. You could probably chop some wood. I, I don't know if that's what I would use it for, but... uh. I will admit, probably here on camera, that looks pretty flimsy, but I will tell you what, it's a lot thicker than you think. And uh, it just doesn't look like it on camera. That's pretty tough. <laughs> and I didn't put this cord on here. I'm going to assume my father probably did that. But there it is, the Cold Steel Bad Axe. Put you guys a nice little close-up there of it. Very pretty. So, what do you guys think this thing's worth? I'm not sure the value on it. Let alone, I can't, there's not even one on eBay, but. All right, I'm going to bring out another knife here, another vintage knife. And this one, I had a lot of trouble trying to find anything on this in the Cold Steel catalogs. Unless I'm just skipping it, I can't find it. But this here, this one, look at that. Ooh, yeah. This is Cold Steel ATC All-Terrain Chopper. I don't know if you can see it on there. Might be a little blurry. Right below the ATC. There's the other side. This one here is Cold Steel Incorporated Ventura, California. And this one's made in Japan. They're Japanese. They're Japan days, and they're making them in Japan after they made them in the USA. But yeah, it's basically a kukri. I mean, it, I don't think it has the the curve as much as the Kukri does, but it's pretty pretty similar. But whew, this thing, <laughs> this thing is pretty freaking. It's cool. It's got the craton, like that craton type material handle. It's got a lanyard that that didn't come with it, but yeah, this thing here, it is nice. But look at the thickness of that of the spine on that the sucker's thick. And I will say, that's a 90 degree. It's got a 90 degree spine. So you could get some sparks out of a ferro rod with that. But yeah, that thing. It's sharp. Let's see what shaves my hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Razor sharp. Yeah. But, once again, this is not anything I'm going to use. It's a collector's item. <laughs> so... Nothing I want to take out in the field. These are probably worth quite a bit of money, I'm sure. That's the ATC. And here's the sheath that it came with. This right here. Put your belt through there. And these are nice. I you know I prefer the Secure X sheaths. But this is before they even make or, or, or Secure X sheaths. Actually, before they're Secure X sheaths, they were Conceal X. I believe they call it Conceal or something. Yeah, it's called Conceal X, I believe. 
but yeah, this was before that. And, uh, but for back in the day, this was pretty nice. I like it better than the leather. So it's like a nylon top type material. But I believe the steel here is, is the carbon V steel. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe in a later video if I'm wrong. Because I can't really find a whole lot of information on it. I could, I could find the LTC Kukri. All their other Kukris. But I just can't find this one. I don't know if I'm just, if I'm just passing it up or what. But yeah, it is pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool. But just for giggles here. Let's, uh, let's see how thick the spine is. Get that up here on. I got a little measuring stick here. Actually, I think it, about an inch. So it's, it is a quarter of an inch. Yep. That's a quarter inch. And actually, I think it actually gets a little more narrow. Seems like it's a little more narrow towards the towards the the handle. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the way it looks. But yeah, it's quarter of an inch thick. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And for all of you guys that haven't seen this one yet. Now I'll put a link up in the screen here for this video. This is the Trailmaster, but it's from the movie uh, Flight of the Intruder, I believe it's called. It's got the symbol right there on, if you can see it in the light. But yeah, it was, uh, they only made, I, I forgot how many they made it. I said the old video, I can't remember now, but I think they made 400 of them. This is 332, if you can see it there, the number. But it's got the... Uh, Oh man, I can't pronounce that word. It's a real fancy type material they use for the handles. It's okay. I'm not a big fan of it. It's nice. But uh, yeah, this is the Trailmaster. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link up in the screen up there for you guys. But once again, this is definitely a collector's item here. So this is one I will probably, well, I'll never use this one. Of course, it has, this one has a leather sheath. Which is still nice. You know, this is what they used back in the day. Today it's a lot different. But uh, it's still nice. Now one of my favorites that I have right here is the Warhead. This is a Special Projects, Cold Steel Special Projects uh, spear. Double-edged spear. And I did a video on this, which I'll put a link up here somewhere in the corner for this video that I did. And uh, I wrapped the handle in it, but yeah, this thing here, it just, I don't know, it just, it feels good in the hand. It just, and it seems like it'd be a really, not just a spear, but it seems like it'd be a really good, it'd be a, it'd be a very good, uh, good chopper. I can't remember the steel on this, but like I said, I'll put a. Put the video up there I did this one on. But yeah, it is really nice. You see that on camera there? Special Projects Cold Steel USA. Really like the, the coating on the blade. It just looks really cool. But this is for like if you want to wrap it on a pole or something, these grooves here. Now they make another one later on, because this one's from the 90s as well. When they're one of their first uh, spears they came out with in their catalogs. But they have another one that's only got one of these notches. And it's a newer one, but it's even discontinued, I think. I don't think they even make it anymore. But it only had the one notch like that. Didn't have two, I believe. But yeah, this is the Special Projects. They, they did other, a couple other knives too, Special Projects. They were um, throwers, I think. I'm going to set that down there without breaking it. And you can get sheaths for these, but mine doesn't have one. But it came in this here, so this is just what I keep it in. A little, like, waxed uh, envelope thing. But, uh, yeah. So, 
I can't really think of anything else for these. I'll give you guys another shot of the, the bad axe here. But uh, basically, same handle, special force shovel, same material, I think. Now, I'm wondering if the medium, medium carbon is the SK5. I'm not for sure. And they just later on called with that, but I don't know. Pretty cool, though. And there's the all-terrain chopper again. And these you can find on eBay. I don't think they're big, big sellers, but I'll never sell it. It's nice. <laughs> so, and this one definitely won't sell. You're probably going to see too many of these. Well, comrades, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, I haven't done a, I haven't done a knife video in a while. But, um, I got cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you know me, I like cold steel knives. So I like to show off my... A cold steel knife that I have. And uh, there'll be some more cold steel knife videos coming soon as well. But uh, our next video is going to be the Escape and Evade uh, Summer Loadout Day Training Exercise video. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, I'm just kind of planning on how I'm going to do it. You know, what I'm going to use and stuff. Not what I'm going to use, but what I'm going to do. So, because I got to put my kit to my kit that I have, I got to make sure. Make sure you guys are kind of. It's a little dark over there, but the kit that I have, which is what I put together, which is over here, that one and that one, I got to make sure everything's going to work, which I think it will. I put a lot of thought into it and uh, that's going to be a really cool video, but it's going to be an all day video. So I got to, I got to rest up for that one. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video and I was glad to have you guys with me and I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I hope I'm looking at the camera because I feel like I'm not. But if I'm not, I'm sorry. And guys, God bless you. Subscribe, like, share, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. God bless you and take care. Oh, if you have any questions about these knives, please leave the comments below and let me know what you think. All right, take care, guys.